We have two winners. We have two winners paying $62.50 each. Show me your phone. That's is a two-way bingo on your appreciation card. It pays twenty-five dollars to the bingo alone and get a pop of lightning. Hi everyone. Um, tonight I'm actually painting my nails. I'm doing gel polish. Um, I don't know, I've been really wanting to do it lately. I kind of stopped doing it because I feel like I was doing it too often and I think I was taking it off too much that I was, I don't know, drying my nails out or something, but I felt like I was having like a bad reaction to doing it so much that my cuticles and everything were starting to itch really bad. So I'm hoping this time around, I'm um, trying this that I don't have that, that effect. So yeah, I've already finished this hand. Um, the, if you guys want to know the brand I use, I think the brand is like Beatles. Yep, Beatles. B e t l e s. Good brand. You can get it. Go online. They always have discount codes and everything. Brian got this for me one year for Christmas. So yep, I just wanted to paint my nails, and it's almost like two in the morning. Technically today we are having our wedding party. Um, a lot of people call it a reception. I mean, I guess that you can look at it that way. It's kind of like a reception, but to me, it's just like a big party with all our family and friends just celebrating our wedding because obviously we went, we had a destination wedding. We did not want to have a big old reception and nothing fancy because it's just not what, what we're into. Um, Brian has definitely went all out for this party though. His mother, I need to thank like my mom, my dad, they have paid for so much stuff. Um, his mom used to be a caterer, so she is like making the food for this party and she insisted. Um, Brian has, I mean, I love him so much. He's been a lifesaver and he has bought lights, a DJ setup, which now leads to him wanting to be a DJ now. Um, He's a jack of all trades, that's for sure. And we have so many cute things that I wanna show you. So tomorrow um, I will film like the setup and everything. I don't know how much I'm gonna get of the party. I will try to film some. Maybe I'll have Caroline like film little bits and pieces. I got a really cute dress. Um, I'm not a dress person, but it took, I wanted to wear something cause our, I, we put on our invites or whatever, casual. You can wear sweats, I don't care. Wear whatever you want. I'm, you know, I just want you to be comfy. Basically, we just want you to have a good time. You know, you can drink a little bit, eat good food, dance, and just chill and be around people. That's how we wanted to do it. So, um, like I said, I wanted to wear, I didn't want to wear just like my basic graphic tee and jeans, like my basic, you know, I almost said uniform. Um, I wanted to get something like casual but cute, so I did actually go and get a dress from Old Navy. Old Navy is a hidden gem, and it was 50% off that day. So I got a really cute dress. I can't wait to show you guys. I tried on a few of them. Caroline actually helped me. And what else? Let me start doing this while I talk to you guys. Yep, so love my dress. Um, I actually, because I have such horrible body dysmorphia, probably could have got a smaller size after I had tried it on earlier but whatever it's still cute I'll make it work and then it's uh, Michigan has been extremely hot lately I almost feel like hotter than what it was in Florida which is really odd to me we've actually had a very beautiful summer I'll say that um only downfall is they're just so short-lived we have such short ones but uh, Carolyn got me a jacket for Christmas, a jean one, and it says Mrs. Die on the back, and I'm going to represent, and I'm going to wear that tomorrow, whether I'm hot or not. So, yep, I'm going to wear my dress with a jean jacket, and I'm kind of like, I don't know how I want to do my shoes. I'm thinking like pink vans, but then I'm like, maybe sandals. 
I would say let me know what you think sounds better, but by the time I post this video, my party's already gonna be done with, so. We got our pictures back from our photographer finally. I actually have a photo book that I just bought to put pictures in, but I do not like the way the pictures, I think, and we got them at Walgreens. I just, I think there was something wrong with like, I don't know, their whole system or whatever, because the pictures online versus how they were printed do not look the same to me. The quality is not there, but um, I will show you guys some of the pictures. I don't know if I'll show it tonight in this video, but um, I'll show it in my next one. So we got our pictures are so beautiful and I am obsessed with them. They're the cutest thing ever. Brian and I have never done like a legit photo shoot before. So I love it. And I think I'm gonna paint my nails the same way. So yeah, like I said, um, we got our photos back finally and we got them literally a couple days ago, which couldn't have been more perfect timing. And then, hold on. So that has taken up a lot of my time. Um, I've been going through, a lot, I've had like really bad anxiety lately. I don't know what the root cause is. Um, it actually could be literally anything. Um, I'm a very anxious person on a good day. Work has definitely been stressing me out. I don't really like talk about work too much and all that. I love my job. I am blessed with, you know, the position I am in and everything like that. But I definitely, it has been a harder couple weeks so I'm working on it um yeah. this and then like I said it could be like all hormone related I don't know I have pretty jacked up ones but Like today was a really rough day for me. I think that was solely because also I had to go to my eye appointment and get my eyes checked out again. Um, I'm probably gonna say this name wrong. I think I have edema or papillary edema. I don't really know how to describe it. All I know is it's fluid behind the eyes. I have 20/20 vision. Um, everything checks out, but my eye doctor referred me to a specialist, so I started going. And the first time I went was in December and um, I had to go back, so I went today, scared to death. I was afraid, you know, they were gonna tell me terrible things, but everything's looking really good, so I go I go back in a year, and the only, re um, only re reason I'd have to go anytime sooner is if my vision gets bad, so. But so far, so good. If you guys have that, let me know, like, how that is for you. I've never heard of anybody talk about that I know that it made me very nervous and don't ever google that because it is horrific to read so yeah I had a rough day in the beginning but tonight we went to bingo which was really fun we've been going to bingo with my grand and she loves it so we love taking her So along with like my massive anxiety lately, um, I was trying to figure out like what alternatives I could do, what can help. So I bought a book to start reading. Um, this one I bought is by Colleen I'm probably, Hoover and it's called It Ends With Us. I see everybody talk about it. So I wanted to give it a go. I'm gonna start reading that. Um, I would try to stay off of social media. I try not to be on it all the time because it can be definitely con like consuming. Um, you could be on TikTok for like four hours and not notice it. So I can't feel, I feel like that can be good for my mental health. And then I really try and I really don't want to be in any kind of meds for it. Um, if that ever happens, so that's totally fine. I mean, what works for people, it works for people. So anyways, I try to do a different kind of thing. I did, I got some CBD gummies. So we'll see how these go. I actually got them today. Um, if you guys wanna know what they are, they look like this. Let me know if it works for you. Um, yeah, the aftertaste I took um, tonight, I can't say too much. I feel like you gotta take it a few times, but the aftertaste is very disgusting. But I'm hoping it helps. 
especially with like work and all that. I'm hoping it helps. Mm -hmm. And then uh, recently my uncle Jeff, which is my mom's, um, it's my mom's uncle. So he's, I think he's like my great uncle. He has been diagnosed with, with stage four pancreatic cancer. So that is extremely sad. And um, the family has made like a GoFundMe for him. My aunt actually is making t-shirts to sell and all the proceeds go to him, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna link that in the down bar below. You guys don't feel, I don't want you to feel obligated like you have to donate. Um, even a simple share or just a prayer means the world. So what any, literally anything helps. And it's just really sad. I feel horrible for my family. And yeah. So just pray for pray for them. They've had like a rough couple of years anyways for their for their family. I'm digging these colors though. can't wait to set up for our party and I need not that I need to I already thanked them but like my mom and dad have been amazing through this whole thing um Brian's mom has been amazing through this whole process she's actually the one make um she she used to be a caterer so she is making the food for our party and we are extremely lucky and thankful and blessed And then one other thing, I'll probably show it in a favorites video if I'm being honest, but I want to talk about it, self-tanner. I used to rave about the, gosh, fake bake um, self-tanner. And that stuff is great and everything, but I recently splurged and I, cause like, I like, I'm cheap about things. And I hate to spend the money on something that I know, don't know if it'll work or not. But I watched someone on TikTok do a review on it. And I was like, alright, you sold me. I'm going to get it. And it is the Saint Tropez. Uh, it is a self-tanner. And it's in a blue bottle. It's like $45. And I'm telling you what, I've used it twice now because I really wanted to do like give my honest opinions and I'm giving you I'm gonna give it a solid 10 out of 10 I really do like it I have yet to put it on my face but I put it on my neck and just put it all over my body it applies super easy the smell not a big fan of it but I, I really don't like self tanner smells I I've never let, found one yet that I like um it's not that bad and you can what's cool about it is you can put it on leave it on for an hour take it off like go rinse it off um you can do two hours, three hours, etc. I just put mine on at night and then I sleep in it, get up in the morning and I just rinse my body off and it gives a really, really beautiful glow. And to me, I don't think it gives like an orange tint to it, but definitely love that. So I will be repurchasing and it will be in a favorites video. So I just love it. Ooh, there's a couple makeup items, too, that I've been really liking. I've been splurging on certain things that I think are worth it. And talking about splurging, I never do this, but I've been on the hunt for a Steve Madden. I love Steve Madden, and, I've been, and I'm a huge purse person, and I have been on the hunt for the Steve Madden bag. It's called, is it called, like, the Bevelin or something? And it is a pink bag, and I'm obsessed with, like, the shoulder strap on it. And every time... I go to look, you know, a lot of people just, you know, resell it, whatever, but they re try to resell it for like 200 plus dollars. And I'm just like, I don't think it's worth that. But I found someone tonight on Mercari reselling it and it wasn't really that expensive. And I was like, treat yourself. You've been working hard. Get yourself something. So I ordered it and I can't wait to show you guys. And then get this, I, no shade to people who wear them. I'm a hypocrite, I, I kind of sound like a hypocrite, but I hate Crocs. I usually hate them. Sure, cool if you wear them. I just, to me personally, I hate them. I think they, I just don't 
I don't know, something about them I don't think are cute. But I'm going to be a hypocrite because Jacob's girlfriend actually had the cutest pair of sparkly ones and I fell madly in love with them and I always tell myself like if I think about it a lot that must mean I really want it and that's when I'll justify the purchase so I loved her so much that I thought about them oh shoot hold on I thought about them for like days so I bought them and they're really cute they're black and they're, they have like sparkles on them and I even have, what do they call them, gibbets, giblets? I don't know what they're called. I even have them and they're so precious. So I got me a pair and then Caroline got a pair and then Jacob has some. Jacob actually just bought him some of those Yeezys and I don't know, I'll, I think he's gonna wear them tomorrow. I'm gonna show you guys them. I don't know, do you like them or no? They're an acquired taste, that's for sure. They're a different kind of shoe. But now I'm pretty much rambling, guys. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. I miss you. Um, I will film tomorrow, and I will let you see the whole... Oh, man, you guys might be able to, like, see a ton of my family in the videos. So, yep, I'm excited. Um, thank you all for watching. And like I said, uh, just pray, send prayers to my Uncle Jeff. And I will put the stuff in the down bar. These are the nails. Obsessed. Super cute. And now I'm just going to get ready to lay down. But I hope you all have a good weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.